Hi everyone, this is Anil. In this video, we will talk about how to create robust transform map. There are five steps involved in this. Uh, we will do one at a time. First, we'll create uh, a data source using Excel file. So first, we'll create a data source using load data option. So we'll go to load data. Uh, I'll give a new table as dummy September 19 v3. I'll choose a file here. Uh, and this is a file called dummy or xlsx, which has a uh, data which I want to load into service map. So I click on submit. This creates a new data source. Uh, and it also loads them into a staging table or input set table, which is this. The next step is to uh, create this transformer. So to do that, we go to data sources and open the data source, which is new dummy September 19 data source. And here I click on new and I create a robust transformer. So I'll call it as dummy transformer one. And here there are two mandatory fields. One is transformer definition, batch size. I'll give batch size as 100. Uh, and in the transformer definition, I have to make a new transformer definition. So I click on new. And here you have two options. You can create CMDB integration studio application data source or ATL definition. Because uh, I want to do ATL definition, I'll select this one. And here I will say And then you can also check this checkbox if you want to see when you're looking at the transformation logs, if you want to see more details, you can select this option. Uh, this. So once we create this transformer, now we have to uh, go to the definition and uh, update the definition. So here you'll see two options, ETL entities, RTE entity methods. Uh, so we will go here. So now in ETL entities, we have to create multiple entities think of entity as a table the first entity is import set entity which is nothing but the import set table we have created so this is nothing but your source data and then there is a staging table which will act as a, a staging table between the source table which is input set table and your target tables and then depending on number of target tables you have you will create those many entities so at least you'll have three but you can have more than three so let's start creating import set uh, table, and then computer entities and then after that we'll create these two so if we'll go here and first create import set uh, and in the table you will select the table name which is dummy and then we'll submit it uh, next we create a second entity which is going to be a staging table so because this is a staging table there will not be any reference to the table so we'll just uh, leave this as none and then we'll create a staging and submit it and third we will create the target table which is your computer table so we'll call it as computer and here I will select I can give the path as computer and I submit it. So now once I create these entities, the next step is uh, add fields to these entities. So I go to import set first and I have to identify which fields are in the scope. So select new. Give a name as a column because I want name. The field name is your as column. So in coerce, uh, coerce your action and make it as create. So, uh, similarly, I'll do the same steps for other two uh, entities. I go to staging entities and then I will make a new field called name. Here I'll keep the field name also as name. Submit it. Uh, and finally, I will go to computer and I will create.
here go into the field the name the column name is also name and submitted so now i have added fields to these entities the next step is to do the mapping so again I think of it as two step two step mapping the first one is from import set to staging and then staging to from the packet table so first one is called as source to stage and the source entity will go on the set and target entity is a staged and so much uh, i leave the order as 100 the next one is going to be staged to computer server stage and computer and then we'll say 200 and submit i'm giving it a higher number so that this will first happen then this will happen now here we have to have field mappings so i go to the field mapping here again the source field is going to be main field the target field is going to be again main submit and then again convert here uh, then we have stage to computer uh, and then source field is going to be nothing but from the staging field table which is name that is going to be name for computer and so forth now once we do all of those click on update and that completes the setup we need right under a quick recap First, what we have done, we made a data source using Excel. Then we have created a robust input transformer. Then we needed a transformer definition. And within transformer definition, we have created three entities: import set, staging table, computer. And then we have added ETL entity fields, which is name here, name here, and name here. And then we did mappings. We did create two mappings: one is source to staging, staging to computer. And then here we have done the field mappings between the source table to staging table, which is a name column. And again, staging to computer, which is again name column. So once all of this is done, then we can test it. So first, we have, then we have to look at input sets, and we could input it with this creative. It's going to sign in. So this is the input set which is created, and we'll also look at the file. So the file has basically name as a column, which we are using this for now. So now the objective is this column will be added to the record in computer table uh, and the name will have there will be three records and each of them will have the corresponding name values. So I'm going to import set and so before we transform it we look at the computer table uh, to see if there are any records with this name. So let's search for this. Nothing. Now let's go here, transform, transform it. And the transform is complete. So, now come here. so you can see that the new account is created. I will filter this now. And then you can see that three records are created uh, which match these three records here. So that is how you uh, use the uh, robust transform map to load data from an excel file into the target table which is computer uh, thank you for watching this is Anil.